must not yet looking back. Here we are in Varsity Apartments, a thriving apartment complex that has been an important part of West Lafayette history. On the corner of State and Salisbury lies Varsity Apartments, one of the oldest buildings in West Lafayette. It was built in 1928 by Walter Scholar, an architect of many Purdue University buildings. The 53 apartments have housed many Purdue faculty, students, and West Lafayette residents. The building has many aesthetic features such as ivy covering the outside walls and the grand blue entryway. Inside the building, there is a vintage aura with many historical aspects such as the laundry room, narrow staircases, plastic chandeliers, and small blue milk doors attached to every apartment. These milk doors date back to when the apartments were built. They are used by milkmen to deliver milk to each of the residents. In the beginning, the apartments were mainly used to house Purdue University professors. As time passed, the professors moved out and students began to occupy the varsity apartments. Diana, a former resident of varsity apartments, had this to say about her experience. I have very fond memories of living here. It was my first apartment after college. I think it would have been in 1985 to 1996. It was a studio apartment, but had a large walk-in closet, just big enough for a twin bed. It was just a block away from a bar called The Stabilizer. During a few summer afternoons, a friend of mine and I would sneak up the steel ladder on the third floor and get out on the roof to sunbathe. People such as Ray Southworth, owner of Southworth Bookstore, and Mary Matthews, founder of the Home Economics School at Purdue, have lived in the building. Susan, another former resident, contacted us with her story. When I was a kid, I visited my aunt, Bess Gingrich, there in the 1950s. She worked at the drugstore in the village, in a building that is now part of University Bookstore. I also thought it had charm. I remember a narrow kitchen and a good-sized living room. Today, the building still stands and is occupied by many students and residents of West Lafayette. We got the chance to take a look around a Curtin student's apartment to see what it looks like today. We sat down with Casey and her roommate to get their opinions on Varsity Apartments. It still has like a lot of the original stuff and like there's still like the milk door and everything like mm -hmm. that. Well, all of them are screwed shut but ours was open for a while and like our neighbors would like pull pranks on us once they figured out it was open and stuff like that. We asked them why they chose Varsity Apartments. Mostly because the location and like the character of the old building. Thanks for looking back at us. We'll see you next time. If you have any additional information about varsity departments, please send us to wllookingback at gmail.com.